What's going on guys and welcome back to another episode of Lord of Heroes. Today we're gonna have a triple analysis of Water Chrome, Fire Chrome and Dark Chrome. Now we're gonna start with seeing the Guardian, the best Guardian in the game. Yeah, it could be Water Chrome. Water Chrome is one of the best heroes in the game. A true gen for us, the free to play players. This combo is dependent on his second skill, as long as it is executable, well, the battle are won. You can get Water Crown in the first contra, but if for some reason you miss it, you can also use Fire Aslan, which is not as good as Water Crown for maybe 5% less on his second skill. But he can fulfill the same role, the same function as him, with an attack buff instead of the regeneration buff that Water Chrome has. Let's take a look at the best stat to focus on. Water Chrome use speed, and that's it. He doesn't need anything else. You can buff his attack up and do a little bit of more damage on or maybe his defense and health, but it's not gonna make any difference. He only needs uh, speed. About his skills, his first and ultimate skill doesn't help too much, but his second skill, this one right here, combat readiness, is what makes Warcrum the best. It fills the action bar of the whole thing and also, also give you a regeneration buff about his set the best set is four pieces of bulwark and two pieces of aegis i don't have the, that set here because i focus on a speed but if you don't have this you can use other like this one right here just make sure it has a speed doesn't doesn't matter if you don't have the set green and color it's really important to have a speed if you have sub attributes with a speed, doesn't matter the skill up, or doesn't matter if it's another win, you will be the best crown. Optional set, you can use the defense set or life set. On PvP, he's the king of the Colosseum. You can equal his speed uh, in the Colosseum, to be honest. It is the winning card for any combo when you execute his second skill at the beginning of the fight. The next in line must be a sniper that generates energy with an area of effect attack and ends with an ultimate of a striker or warrior. After that combo is GG. You can also use the basic attack combos and it works well too. Now let's check Fire Crown, which is uh, one of the best warriors in, in the game, but not for damage. Fire Crown is not as uh, useful as his brother, Water Crown, but he is one of the warriors that can do more damage in addition to being fun to use. It will be only served for farming or some specific battles. Fire Crown is one of those warriors that are made for damage but not really for damage because his speed is really up and you can use him like a trigger for combos. The best stat to focus on is attack and critical damage. He can buff up his critical hit rate and some of his attack with his second skill. 
increase attack power and critical hit rate plus critical hit damage for two turns and it give you a uh, additional turn so he's the only one who can have double turn his first and second skill are good because he can use wither with the first one and with his second skill you can buff up his attack critical hit rate and critical hit damage as i told you plus you can get a double turn his ultimate is for damage about his set you can use the revenge set all six pieces of the revenge set or you can combine them with the optional set which is strength precision or extraction set range and necklace use speed or critical damage on pvp due to his auto buff to increase critical attack and critical damage he could one shot a unit that at the start of the fight but beyond that he's not someone indispensable on the lineup with his sp if you don't have like air luzilica which is the best striker the faster striker you can trigger combos with fire pump. now let's check the last one which is a striker and a premium one that i don't have which is dark Chrome. dark Chrome is one of the few strikers that can help to buff our teams he buff can help a lot to possibly replace a defense unit like a guardian if our strategy is to play offense but unfortunately at the moment he's a premium hero and few can have him the best start to focus on are attack critical hit rate and critical damage because he's a striker remember that though he's now a striker for damage is a striker for support about his uh, skills all of his uh, skills are very good but his second skill this one right here increase all allies attack power and defense for two turns and his ultimate attack all enemies and fill up the action bar for 20 percent if the attack is a critical hit so he needs a lot of uh, critical hit and be able to trigger this ultimate now about his set try to use six pieces of the bird set four pieces with percent of attack make sure to have critical rate and critical damage at sub attributes range and necklace use critical hit rate and critical damage optional set you can use the strength set precision set or extraction set on pvp dark crown in the colosseum can be a destroyer if the combo that is used based on speed and throwing all or nothing because within you will not need a guardian just to be the first one to start getting energy buffing up and explode so i'm gonna show you a fight using water crown and fire crown okay we're gonna use okay we're gonna see a fight where i use water crown to buff my tina which is really faster wow you didn't see that now i'm gonna use fire lumi to get energy and to stun someone but didn't work I use Air Lucilica as my strategy. This is personal, so I'm gonna teach you this later. So we are here to see the crumbs. Now I buff up with Fire Crumb and I'm gonna explode with another striker. I'm gonna explode three times. You're gonna see a lot of damage here. Yeah. 
and basically the fight is over. Mm, I believe I don't need to show you any more fights because all are gonna be like this. Or maybe, yeah, let's show you. Let's see one more fight. But as you can see, Fire Chrome is user it is used to trigger a combo not to do damage although see there is double drone helps a lot with damage let's see we are faster than this team i'm gonna try to stun someone and to get energy see her array got stun right now as you can see the next one online is water from if i let him leave he might be above a live fly ray and i'm gonna get white so now because my air loose is faster than this water from I'm gonna try to finish the fight. Um, I'm sorry. I know we are trying to explain water from um fire from, but it's another strategy to show you and to teach you. And I hope you guys forgive me for that. But that's how. If it works on this game, it's really unfair to be honest. Thank you very much for being here. Please smash that like button, it helped me a lot. Subscribe to the channel. Oh, and remember, share the video. I hope to see you soon. Later.